Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Can you believe that three years ago we did this exact same video in the same style? So since it's been three years, I thought why not just make another remake of this video? So what we're gonna do in today's video is we're gonna talk about the top study resources to help you pass your exam 2025 version. So first and foremost, if you didn't know, Salesforce is free. It's free to learn. There's a free learning platform. It's very engaging. And the best of all is that it's detailed towards the course in which you're interested in pursuing. So if you're most likely watching this video, you're looking to pass your admin exam, but just know that Salesforce has a lot of different career paths that you can follow and the training resources inside of Trailhead, which is the Salesforce learning platform, that's free. You have a lot of cool careers that you can pick. So anything from being a developer, you can look into being an architect, you like marketing, you want to be a business analyst. They have all of those trails. So definitely make sure that you're getting acquainted with Trailhead because there's a lot of fun. And I emphasize fun because this is the only trail that I've actually seen consistently over the years. Salesforce makes sure that their content's engaging and fun for us to be able to learn and you get eventually certified. So if you're looking to pass your Salesforce admin certification, most likely you already know that the certification is broken down into multiple areas and each of those sections are going to have modules that you can follow to learn more about so definitely 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 make sure that you're checking out trailhead again it's completely free and i think it's perfect for every type of learner they've really updated it since the last time i made this video there's actually there's videos now there's more hands-on activities that you can do and they really make sure that they're catering to every type of learner so definitely check them out now resource two is one of my favorite which is called salesforce Ben. They've put together study resources, practice exams, everything to be able to help you prepare for your Salesforce admin exam. We have a YouTube channel that you can check out. I'll make sure to link it below. I definitely recommend subscribing for their daily insights or their LinkedIn page because there's a lot of things that you don't want to miss from Salesforce Pen. Everything from trending news, what's going on in the space, expert authors talking about a variety of things. If you're coming into the space, definitely make sure to follow them. Resource number three is I'm gonna point out quite a few people here because they're all fantastic and they offer a different way for you to be able to learn. For me, it was really important and it still is to be able to find instructors that match your learning style. And I'm gonna recommend all of these people because you need to be able to um, feel them out, maybe look at their courses, how they teach, what they're teaching, what they're focusing on, and if they keep you engaged. From our interview, so you get to learn a little bit more about them, I always say when you get a chance to learn more about the instructors, you can feel out who's best designed for your learning style. Okay, so the first person is Tim. He's been a part of Salesforce Ben's team for a while. Now, if you're studying for your exam, you most likely know the word flows. That's another use for automations. Um, but these are gonna be really important for you to understand when you go in, not to just your Salesforce admin exam, but if you go up, such as your platform app builder or your developer exam, you're gonna need to be aware of terms as such. And Tim does a great job of explaining what automations and flows are, but are in particular, when you use them. He's great and Tim knows I love his accent so he even makes it a lot more fun. <laughs> the next person is David Massey. Personal favorite of mine, he's fantastic in the way that he teaches. He not only does Salesforce admin courses but he has a whole bunch of rest of them which I'll list right here and you can check out. But David is really engaging. He makes sure that he's teaching you the way that he needed it. So he's really diving into certain topics in a very introductory way, but in a way that you can ensure that you're learning and that you can apply it directly when you're taking that test and it can click to you. Sometimes technical jargon just be too much. Um, and he does a really good job at not making you feel that way. Highly, highly, highly recommend checking out David Massey. Again, whole list of courses you'll wanna check out, especially as you continue down your Salesforce career path. I'll make sure to link his website below so you can check out more. The third person I wanna mention, is Daryl Moot. What's awesome about him is that he is a fantastic teacher. He takes that technical jargon and makes it very understandable for you as a learner. Daryl's course also offers a lot of hands-on activities, so you're not just listening to a lot of videos, you're also engaging and learning at the same time. So the fourth person that I wanna shout out is Emily Call. She's been doing Salesforce YouTubing for a long time, and she has a lot of short and long video forms that help you learn certain concepts of the, for the Salesforce exam. Everything from case status is to understanding how the different clouds relate to each other within Salesforce plus so so much more now these four people definitely make sure to follow all of their information is down below in the link fifth resource that I want to share with you is focus on force they're probably my holy grail for how I got my first certification 
and I use them pretty much anytime I'm getting a new certification. Focus on Force was started by Martin Gessner. The whole idea was to be able to study better for his exams and then use that to be able to help the Salesforce community. I've done a specific video on that, so I'll link it right here. You can check out more in detail what Focus, but primarily why I recommend it is because there's practice tests and study guides and you can purchase it. These are study guides and exams itself that have been designed by professionals in the Salesforce community that know this topic, that know this area. That's their area of expertise. So they're mirroring what they know from their personal experience to be able to help you pass. Fantastic resource because it also has tools that can help you and they also put a little gamification into things. So definitely make sure to check out Focus on Force. The link is right below and don't forget to check that other video that I just mentioned which goes into further detail about what Focus on Force is. My last and final resource for you is YouTube. You're here already so that means that you're doing a good job. There's so many YouTubers out there. I'm gonna list a few on the screen just to check out. I know I'm gonna miss some so just go off of recommended keyword searches. Anytime you find somebody that clicks, that vibes with how you learn, then you know you found somebody that's helpful. And my little golden extra person that I'm gonna mention in here, in terms of helpful people to help you pass your exams, if you're specifically a developer, definitely make sure to check out Warren Walters. He has his own dev academy, which you can join. Um, he does also YouTube content just like this. So if you wanna learn more about the technical side of uh, Salesforce, so if you wanna learn more about the technical side of Salesforce, definitely make sure to check him out. His link will be, his YouTube link specifically will be down below in the description. See if you like any of them and subscribe to them. Being able to keep updated with different YouTubers gives you a um, different expansion into the things that you're gonna be learning, different type of resources provided to you, and of course, they're gonna be providing their own journey and things that they've learned to share with you as well. So if you guys found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up. That lets me know that you wanna keep seeing this every year and I'll make sure to update it. Um, best of luck as you're learning through your Salesforce journey. Please feel free to reach out to my LinkedIn, which is below, and you can subscribe to the channel. My t uh, content is not all technical. It's a mix of career as well. So I will make sure to see you in the next video. Bye.